Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Jack Skellington cookie from the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas. I printed out the template online and I used my copy cake projector to project the image onto the cookie for me to trace the eyes and the nose. I'll link the video where I explain how I do that in the eye, um, so check there if you have any questions. I'm using piping consistency black icing to fill in the eyes and the nose and I'm just using a paintbrush that I use specifically for cookies to paint that on. Once the black icing has set, I use my scribe tool and just kind of retrace over where um, the eyes and the nose are going to be. I just want to make it really easy when I actually have the icing out and I'm doing the icing on this step. Um, and then I'm using white piping consistency icing to outline the eyes and the nose. Um, I do use piping consistency for this step because I want to make sure and keep that exact shape for the eyes and the nose. And if I was using more flood consistency, it might move around a little more. Now for this step where I'm outlining the um, perimeter of the cookie and then filling in, this is all done with 20 second icing. And I will link my icing consistencies video um, in the eye if you wanna see exactly what I'm talking about with that consistency. Um, but that's what I'm using for this because I wanted to make sure there wasn't a visible outline um, around the outside of the cookie. And I'm just going in and flooding um, the face and then before moving on to the next step, we'll let that set. For the mouth, I again used my copy cake projector and just projected the outline of the mouth onto the cookie um, and I used an edible marker for that. And then I'm just going in with that same piping consistency black icing and just basically filling in that smile. And then for the stitches, I'm just going in immediately with that same icing um, and just adding those as well. I did take my time with the stitches um, and just made sure that I cleaned off the tip anytime it seemed like there was getting to be some icing on it, just because you don't want that to transfer onto the cookie. So um, take your time with this step and just clean your tip as you go if you need to. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. I am currently dealing with some allergies, so if I sound a little stepped up, I am sorry about that. But I appreciate you guys listening um, and watching the video. And um, I've got a lot of fun videos coming up, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the notification bell. And I will see you next time.